I know you've been spending some time in Arizona playing a little golf out there or vacationing while <laughs> getting ready for camp. Well, you know, not much golf, a little bit of golf. Uh, it's kind of hot out there in Arizona to be golfing unless you got a 5 or 6 o'clock tee time. Uh, but it's a lot of training, um, you know, the, the mental aspect of it, preparing yourself for camp as well as a long season. Uh, and most importantly, just kind of visualizing, you know, doing whatever needs to, to be done in order to hold that trophy up at the end. I know what the Bears camp is like in Bourbon A, but what is the Eagles camp like? Are you guys in some dorm rooms like they are? We are in dorm rooms. We're in dorm rooms. Some have uh, three rooms, some have four. And, uh, you know, that was just recently in the last six years or so, five years that uh, we moved to that. Uh, before we were in the two two bedroom dorms where you can kind of look over and see the guy next to you um, and you felt like you were it just in, in jail, locked down. Um, but you know what? It's a lot of fun. It's an opportunity for, for the team to bond and build camaraderie and, uh, you know, everyone to have that common goal and do whatever it takes in order to push each other to get it. Watching these guys, is it kind of getting you excited for camp? No. Um, this is 11 years for me in the league, uh, and it's the same routine. But you know what the exciting part about camp is? Uh, that everybody's back and um, you know the off-season workouts and everything that's over now you kind of put it to the test you get out and you push each other compete uh, some trash talking uh, you know guys kind of get together and uh, maybe have lunch or dinner together uh, kind of unwind a little bit and kind of get refocused to get back out and, and uh, making a big impression you know you guys reside in the south side looking forward to that november game <laughs> against chicago bears and jay cutler uh, someone else asked me about that too if you got local media and, and i'll say this i think um uh, the bears are a fine organization jay cutler in particular i think he's a fine young man um I, it just remains to be seen how he fits in with the uh, chicago bears uh, i think that particular day is going to be a, a really outstanding contest uh, I'm not going to predict and say who's going to do what because I don't want to, you know, <laughs> cause any kind of rough or uh, discomfort for anybody. But uh, I think uh, when it's all said and done, people will walk away and say they were highly and uh, truly entertained. Are you a Bears fan? I'm a Bears fan. I'm a Chicago fan. You know, I don't, I don't, this is, right, I don't, I don't uh, differentiate between Cubs and White Sox. Uh, I love them all, you know, except for when they play Philadelphia. I know Donovan's a competitive guy, so I'm sure he's looking forward to that game as well. Oh, always. I mean, it's a great time for him to come home and uh, to spend time with uh, his friends and, you know, some of the other guys that he knows. And uh, it's just an opportunity for him to, to you know, showcase his skills and let the people know that he still can play football. Now your father confessed to me that he is still a Bears fan. Are you looking forward to that matchup against Cutler? Um, you know, not just Cutler. And I, uh, you know, we got some unfinished business from last year. Um, being on the one-yard line, not being able to punch it in and win the game, uh, really didn't sit well with me. And um, you know, we we flew in, and you know, my mom and dad cooked, and we had great food, and we weren't able to seal the deal on that uh, that good Sunday night football. And uh, we're looking forward to the rematch, and looking forward to getting back out there and competing with these guys. And uh, you know, I know they're excited about having Cutler and uh, Forte going in the second year, but it's going to be a challenge for both of us, and uh, we look forward to it. Now, you being a vet yourself, what do you think of someone that might possibly have a Packers, Jets, and maybe Vikings jersey? Well, that's a lot of jerseys to have. I mean, you know, um, hey, you know, more power to them. But you know what, it, it's the game of football, you want it to be exciting for all. And it's not just uh, watching given players, but you know what, it's just watching your favorite team. Because I grew up a Bears fan until the draft um, and was hoping that things would happen, but it didn't. But um, you know, and, and you want to see your team do well. And, um, you know, obviously my team has been the Philadelphia Eagles for the last 10 years and look forward to it for the next five or six years to come. But you know what? The thing about it is you want to see them win. And, um, you know, I want to be a part of that winning tradition where you hold up that trophy, get hit with confetti, and know that uh, we're Super Bowl champions. So Brett Favre for the Vikings, is that just an addiction to football? <laughs> For him, it's something. I don't know what it is, but uh, when you become 40 and uh, you know you're still trying to play, and you can play at a high level, hey, go do it. And um, you know, I think for Brett, uh, it's a decision he has to make, obviously, with with his family and um, you know, obviously, his health uh, of being making sure that it's the right decision. All right, Donovan. Well, thanks so much for letting us talk to you and come to the camp today. Thank have a good rest of your day. Thank you, and you guys have a good one.